Hi there, and welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge, and I just got back from doing a week in Mexico, lovely place to do a workshop, doing a week-long workshop, and uh, we just had a great time, so I really don't have time to shoot a brand new Bob Blast, but you're in luck. This is going to be one of my favorite best of Bob Blast, and it's about a question I get asked a lot. How do I start a simple abstract? How do I get started? I don't have any ideas, but I know I need to be in the studio. Maybe an idea will come to me. This is what I love to do. Start off with a whole bunch of abstracts and I'll show you what I do from there. And welcome back to another Bob Blast. Hi, I'm Bob Burridge. And this one is all about how to jumpstart your next abstract painting. Hey, have you ever gone into your studio and you're all enthusiastic and you just don't have any ideas, but you know you need to be in the studio to paint that day? It happens to me a lot. So what I like to do is a very simple thing that I'm sure you all have done this before, but I'd like to show you what I do. It's pretty common around here. So I have a mat, I take a mat, okay, and put it on top of one of my discarded paintings or a piece of fabric or paint that's on the floor sometimes, and I'll just start walking around. I know you've done this, moving the mat around and say, well, isn't that interesting? Let's remember, this is strictly to jumpstart your next abstract. And look at all the different ideas that are in there. Anyway, so don't throw away all those bad paintings. You might find something great in there. So I'm gonna show you one, how I get started. So a good place to start is, well, naturally on your own palette. You know, I have paper, wax paper palettes. And let's look at this mess, it's just fantastic. I'm not gonna waste any of this paint. And so with two different kinds of mats, see I have this proportion and I have this proportion. It all depends on what I'm gonna be painting. I love to move it around like this. Just look at this, oh man. And the paints I'm going to be using will be the Holbein paints and uh, big brushes, lots of white, and I think I'm ready to go. I'm going to find something in here and do my best at duplicating it and see how far I get. All right, let's get, let's get started, okay? So this is the composition I've decided upon. Uh, I like the big bold shapes and the colors, that's not usually something I paint with in a painting, but that's why I like the challenge. This is something new for me. So I like the big, bold shapes, and uh, I have my colors pretty much matching them. It's not gonna be exactly it, but I can't wait to get started, and here's I, how I go. You know what, my brush, first thing I see here is this big, dark shape. Uh, I always start loose, just ridiculously loose. See, just like that. That's how you get started. Next color I see here, of course, is this beautiful purplish color. I'm gonna mix up some opera with that. Right in here, oh, look at that. Now, how about the blue over here? This blue is a beautiful blue. I'm gonna add some cobalt with some white within here. See, what a great way to get started. Big brushes, really loose. See, at least it gets me started. Down in here, that's more of this pink, this opera. Oh, uh, here's some more blue. You see how I build this up? And working fast, don't work too slow. If I work slow, I'll start getting real cerebral about the whole thing, you know, I'm thinking about everything. And the whole idea here is to get you started. There's some white in here. I'm gonna add some more white in here. Well, this is oh, a little bit of yellow. Thank goodness I had some yellow out sitting out here. And that's another important part is to have all your paints ready to go because the, uh, the speed and the tempo of painting for me is rather important. You know, if I have to stop and find more paint, you know, I've lost that, that edge. Anyway, anyway there you go. <laughs> I'd love to be able to put this on a big mat and put it on the wall. And that's how I get started. Look, it only took me two minutes to do one. 
Can you imagine doing six of these every morning? You're gonna have a wall full of great beginnings. And don't forget, you can turn them around, upside down, sideways, and all that good stuff. Hey, again, jumping start your next abstract. It's a great way to get started and to loosen up. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next Bob Blast. So I hope you enjoyed that. It was kind of fun too. So get out there in your studio and start with some loose splashing of colors and see where that takes you. You gotta start sometime and somewhere, okay? So join me next week for an all new Bob Blast. See you then.